Hey, it's Rich Toronto with TMCNet. Thanks for watching. We are in uh, Silicon Valley. It's our Editor's Week 2016, and uh, Mike Loftus is with us. He's with Zentera, and uh, Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, very, very much for being here today. I'm enjoying. So are we. It's been uh, kind of a whirlwind of uh, software companies and chip companies and marketing automation companies, IoT, it's been a little bit of everything. And so um, I think that's a good segue into Zentera. What is it you guys are doing? So we are a cloud, uh, as everyone talks about now, the, the cloud is the next thing relative to, you hear about storage, you hear about compute, you hear about all the pieces. But there's lots of reasons from a technology, re, you know, technology point of view, but more importantly from a financial point of view. So it's becoming clear that as these things happen, our piece of that is focused on the networking and security piece. Because one of the challenges for the enterprise today to go to this magic thing we call the cloud is how do we make sure it's secure? And how do we make sure that it is able to make our workloads not in any danger or any harm? And that's where we, we're coming from in terms of the technology we're building. So are you encrypting? So we, we do encrypting. That's just one of the many things. So I mean, I think one of the things that I like to talk about that, uh, that we need to do is, you know, we're seeing a convergence of what is networking. The, the hard point that's been going on for the last eight, six, eight years, six in a long time, um, has been using VPNs has been the historic thing to get to anywhere sure. get, to into cloud. Uh, the problem with that, th there's a number of problems with that, but what we figured out is if we could go, um, are you familiar with VOIP? I know you are. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard of that uh, stuff. As a matter of fact. Well, believe it or not, we took the same concept. Fine, funny how that is with a telecom guy, right? We took the same concept of, of, of voice over IP and took it into COIP, and that's cloud over IP. And what we did is we separated the the connection pair, if you will, and the, and, the, and the signaling pair, just like VOIP. Oh, wow. And that way, any endpoint to us can be anywhere in the world, on, on an Amazon cloud, in a data center in, in someone's backyard, or it can be in Azure you know, and or Century Cloud. We, we don't care where the workload lives, but we just simply connect it. And we connect it with a similar idea of having a, a connection pair and a, and a signaling pair. And then what's really cool about having a, sec, uh, a signaling pair is you can do that really lightweight. You don't need to have heavy networking. Sure. And you can spin it up very quickly. So we, we, we bring up our customers in, in hours, not months, and, and, and uh, so on. So. Well, it sounds to me like it, from a redundancy standpoint, it's really kind of interesting because you could send that the signaling out to multiple computers in different locations and they could simultaneously be backing up each other. Is that, is that accurate? So we're doing some things today with uh, um, how do we do that, managing that process. Okay. Um, and we're working with a number of partners to bring that to market as well. Because we believe that the importance of some of the, we're, we're, the, the, the um, that, that aspect or that application as we love to call it, um, is a very, very important one. But you know, I think that getting people to the notion today of being able to go from an Amazon and to have their same workload existing or the connected workload. So the, what you asked about is more of like a backup or a, or a replica or a, a snapshot. Sure. You, of course, yes, you could use this technology to do that. There are lots of other things, other ways to do that. Um, we believe though what's cool about this is I can have two live working. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was sort of what I was thinking. And, and unlike traditional ways of having just a snapshot. And so you can have Amazon Live sure. at the very same time. I was thinking kind of like a SIP call, but with, like a, with a SIP call where the SIP call goes to a phone, but it also simultaneously goes to a call recorder. And it's just kind of the same. It has a lot of the same capability. Same kind of idea there. And so now you really are, you're, you're in a situation where your uptime on the cloud is 100%. I mean, it can be architected that way now, but if you have a protocol like this, it makes life a lot easier. You basically start at scratch and both servers start, they, they grow together and... So, so let me tell you, the right? other part of it is we can also pull it down in an instant, which means okay. that, let's say I'm Bank of America or I'm, you know, I have some large financial institution that wants to connect with something else. They can bring that connection live for the, like the call okay. and, then turn, and then tear it down. Okay. So therefore, there's no way to go trace it. There's no way to go back. 
and do the things that you that, that it can happen when you have some of the persistent connections. So that's just one aspect the, of the of the way in which we we create the uh, both security and the networking capabilities. One of the things that was really funny uh, about a year and a half ago, a Gartner analyst said to us, you know, because we called ourselves a, a networking company, networking company. He said, "You guys are a security company," and the reason he said that is that. Um, it was crystal clear that what we do, although, yeah, we connect that crazy final mile that is so hard to connect, but we also encrypt it. We also make it so that it's not seen by any other, any other sure. networking protocols because of what we do is we put it on top. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as a result of that, it makes it a lot more secure all by itself. And this, this analyst goes, guys, guys, you guys have the next gen security product. So, Mike, I'm okay. I, I'm with you conceptually because obviously um, most business calls nowadays are going over SIP, SIP trunking, and this is you're basically taking the same concept and you're applying a similar concept and applying it to, to cloud. Are you selling a protocol? Are you selling a what is it? What do I buy from Zentera? So, um, yeah, good question. Very good question. Um, we we basically sell a platform. And uh, so the platform is hosted <clears throat> wherever the, either the enterprise wants or wherever the partner wants. Okay. We, we work with a number of security partners, and I wish this interview was next week where I could talk about um, the, the, a couple of the big ones that are on behind us. Uh, we're doing a rollout in the next few weeks about uh, the, one of the single biggest challenges that every enterprise to move to the cloud has is how do I take my existing security that I have sitting in my data center today. And so, and how do I move that to the cloud? There's no wires. There's absolutely no wires. So how do you do it? So what we've done is built our platform in this voice, you know, the COIP platform, so that we can take their, their um, if you will, um, security modules and be able to plug them into Amazon. And so that, that now the enterprises that they've been selling to, whether it be you know, you can name all the big guys um, that have to have the security that does all the 15 things that, that the SEC requires, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, can now be able to do that with these platforms. So it won't be Zentera security, it'll be so-and-so security. Okay. And so we'll, we, we basically become a provider of them being able to host their security. So again, part of the reason we, we say we, we, we sell this in different ways, it's how do we enable, we're enabling a bunch of other technologies, um, and which makes it really easy for the enterprise to now maintain the security that they need to, to basically onboard and use the, the Amazon. Some of these enterprises, I had no idea until a couple of weeks ago uh, in working with a number of these partners, some of these enterprises have 30 and 40 and 50,000 instances running in Amazon. And today, it's difficult, if not impossible, to protect them. And uh, so that's what's standing in the way of having really, really wide, widespread adoption is networking and security. Excellent. What else uh, have we left out, or have we left anything out? Um, again, I think you may get it. Um, no, we're, we're a silicon-based startup, early stage company. Um, and uh, we're, we're having a lot of fun doing something brand new. And uh, um, it's been... It's been a, a it's been a, a journey to get the you know the the analysts and the people behind us to understand where we're going. Now that they're on board, it's been they're writing about us every every month now, and it's been kind of cool. So uh, um, um, it's it, it's it's a it's a journey that's starting to work. Great. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you.